Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're sat back in Aylsham and our our dual dual line line tram service. There was a little confusion in the comments as to why I didn't go with the more obvious two loops. And uh, that was viewer's choice. Yes, it was your choice in not the previous episode, but the episode before that. Uh, the two options were Firstly, the loops, the obvious one, the one we uh, normally go with, and two lines running parallel that do a, a swip swap over at the stations. Technical term. So that's why we are going with uh, two lines as opposed to clockwise and anti-clockwise services. We may swap them round, however... I think this is going to be a decent uh, experiment. Just see how they handle it. And balancing wise, it's possibly a little easier. As uh, if they're heading this side of town, then it's only the number two that they're going to go on. If they're going the other side of town, it's only the number one. There might be some uh, redundancy when you're running two loops. As they might go part way. Let's bring up the UI, shall we? Yeah, they might go part way on the number one and then to get back they go on the number two. So they only use this tiny section of uh, two loops. Either, either or, really, dealer's choice on that. I did have an interesting uh, idea to have a figure of eight. I'm not sure how that will work for this. It would kind of work, wouldn't it? We'd have to go through there uh, and do a sort of figure of eighty thing. Yeah, possible. I have not actually tried a figure of eight method, uh, but I hear it's uh, it keeps things balanced. Although, as we can see here, everything is looking okay, isn't it? We'll check back on it, though, as it's not really been going that long. Now then, how are we doing at the train station before we head off to our HQ and take a look at the state of play? It's alright, isn't it? Nice and balanced. I'm hoping to see this pick up eventually. Are we competing with uh, private transport, the people in their cars? Oh, goodness me, I didn't mean to click on charts, but uh, there we go. We've uh, apparently launched ourselves to the moon there in Aylsham. Nearly a thousand people. That is impressive. That happened very quickly, didn't it? Yeah, in a very short space of time. Between 1941 and, uh, well, we slowed down speed at some point, uh, but between 1941 and 1956, is that? Yes, it is. Destinations, how are we doing? Well, look at that, guys. I said, should we aim for 75%, three quarters of the people who travel to Lee to take our trains and our trams and we're at 68% 67 ignore that regardless that's impressive I like it how many people do we have traveling these days almost half full this is going to take a little while to uh, get going but let's just take a look yep it's getting there isn't it it's slowly going up and we did make a few changes uh, to the trams Eventually, that's going to, I think, start making us a profit. Which one's this? Is this the other one? It should be, shouldn't it? Because they meet each other, which is really nice. In Alsham. And so you can sort of cross over. So, uh, yeah, 26 coming down from uh, Prince's Risborough there. Where's our express train? Is this it? It's it's full, guys. It's absolutely chock-a-block. Uh, ooh. Yes, and there's 130 people. <laughs> There's 130 people waiting to go to uh, Henley-on-Thames. Well, uh, at least another carriage. I'm not going to go and put loads on there because it's probably not needed. Can I remember the uh, the purple I used? I'm going to go... No, I think it's that one. Uh, yes. We're just going to throw an extra carriage on because what's possibly happened is we've got a little behind and people... We'll have to check on this, but people from Lee may be catching this now because we've got the connection and that's going to increase the amount of people who are traveling on our express i guess we should add one on the other one as well shouldn't we yeah manage vehicles we'll get one on here as well that's full as well 
Well, say well again. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't mean to say it again. Anyhow, let's get a, another one on there as well. You said well. Oh dear, don't count how many wells I say. Let's get on there. Is there anywhere called wells here? Let's hope. I think there is, isn't there? Yes, and it's near, near our HQ. Goodness me. Right, we've got a bit more space uh, available. A few more seats on our express. We may need to go a little bit further. Uh, let's get the line finances. Yeah, that was pleasant. We took a look at that briefly last time out. But this is, uh, some of these people will be getting off at Henley. Uh, not Henley. Well, they, yes, they will be getting off at Henley, but they'll be getting off at Prince's Risborough as well. Uh, see, now every time I say the W word, <laughs> I'm going to stop. I will not edit it out either. So there we go. I'm leaving it in so I can grimace while I'm editing. Away you go. You are full. Yes, we'll... We'll need to uh, sort that out. Uh, that's a well with a, an apostrophe, isn't it? Wheel. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes, leave it alone. Okay, so this one's full as well. How many of you left over at Henley? Uh, ooh, is it looking like quite a few? I managed to click on the train there. Well played. Uh, there's still 91 people there. The other option is we bring on another train, but I'd rather make them longer before I uh, start throwing trains on an express route. Otherwise, uh, it's not really an express, is it? It's just a, an elongated commuter route. Uh, okay, there's our aircraft. They do fly off the, uh, the map at the end. That's why I edited it out. It just didn't look great. There he is. Just here. This is what you get to see. Well, actually, it's worse than that, as uh, before you turn around. It was suggested that we uh, we make this a, a parallel with the edge of the map instead. It doesn't... Maybe you could really sit down there. But we've got our express line that's going to branch this way. Very soon, actually, we're going to high-speed track it down here. So we've got more of a gentle curve into the station to try and keep some speed up. And it won't do this wiggle. This is going to be quite busy with commuters. As we're going to have another one coming in from Bradford. Uh, from Lee. And then it's going to cross over the top of Lee to Romsey. And that's how we're going to do that bit. So yes, lots of plans. How's it looking in Lee? We need to see if anybody in Lee is heading to Henley. Where's Henley? Well, there's your answer. Obviously, 100% of the people are using our trains. That might not be the case if we uh, if we put in a decent motorway system as it's a bit more direct to go that way. However, however, we're not done, are we? We're going to continue this off and there will be a branch line heading from, uh, I guess, Mitchell Dean. It'll branch off the other side of the river, go to Luggershall and Henley. So they won't really be using the express route for that which is fine for me oh no it's not the express anyway is it no the express goes direct to mitchell dean so they might actually use the express instead of the commuter because it will be be direct to mitchell dean then there'll be the uh, the local service that branches off goes to uh, luggershall and then off to henley with uh, I don't know about a second stop the other side of town. Uh, maybe a little distance away with like a double stop at Henley. Some of these bigger cities might require two stops either side of town. It will take a few people off the trams uh, when they get much bigger and uh, put them onto the local trains that do a couple of short stops in town. Uh, especially somewhere like Alsham. Alsham might need another stop that heads up to Thatcham there and then to Mablethorpe and Sutton. We've got one to Romsey. There's all sorts of goodies that we can do. It's looking like Alsham might be our biggest uh, city now. Let's take a look. Size. We're going to sort this by. We can fit them all on screen, which is lovely. Uh, Twickenham's still largest. 
However, Elsham has quickly, quickly caught up. Henley has the best connection for people, public transport. Um, Elsham is doing okay. We do have some, some sound issues, but that's fine. A lot of that is just aging vehicles. So we can, we can replace those or wait until we get new ones and do that. Now you can change the maintenance to do that. Right, what did I say we're going to do at the end of the last episode? We're going to pop down to our HQ here near uh, Loughton Oil Well. Yes. Oh yes, Loughton Wells is the name of the station. So I guess that's where we are. It's like a little area outside of... Where is it? Oh, where are we? Yeah, Loughton. It just, it just says Loughton Wells. But uh, yeah, the, has this got bigger? I don't remember it quite looking that good. Should we click on it and see what the scores are? We've got a company score of 27. Up to 44 trams, 49 road vehicles, 19 trains, down to 6 aircraft. Our top speed is obviously our aircraft with 302 miles an hour. Here we go, our longest train, 434 metres and our oldest vehicle is 23 years old. It's a shame you can't click on it and find out what that vehicle is. I would imagine it's our steam train chugging along uh, near wherever it is. Over that way, isn't it? Luggage hall, near there. Right, so uh, there's our balance. Look at it. We're just uh, plowing money into the company and uh, getting our returns. Tracks, slowly building up. There we go. Where we got money. We just keep doing that. And our towns, all on the rise. We're kind of flattened out a little bit there. But uh, yes! That's looking impressive, isn't it? Oh, it was asked also in the comments that we take a look at the line details. Take off the see what you can see and see where our money is coming from. Now, we'll just bring up the blues there. Some of these down here are new and a lot of them are just trams. We're not really losing that much. Uh, the, the new Risborough connection is... Uh, the lead to Risborough connection isn't going to make as much money just yet. But uh, yes, we are making a lot of money. Our planes are making a ridiculous amount of money. 16 million. Uh, our closest freight lines. In fact, do you know, that's impressive. Risborough food freight was not making us a lot of money to start with. How that's turned around. Oil is just going to keep making us money. Where's our new diesel? There we go making a bit isn't it it's a little bit deceiving though don't take this as how much profit we're actually making on these lines it's just a snapshot these really need to be uh, i would say averaged out over at least 10 years there we go all of a sudden risper food, food freight jumps up to uh, 9.3 million but when you consider how long it takes for a lot of these to do their journeys this is not accurate not in the slightest. It's just a <laughs> just a glimpse into roughly what your line's doing. I'm hoping they give us an option to have the averages on that. There we go. 420 oil on there. I don't think we're quite keeping up with that. Let's see what we can see. Yeah, 1,175. Not far off. Uh, the maximum is 1,200 there. So uh, we're doing okay. We could probably stick another one on the back there and meet it. Uh, yeah, do you know what? Why not? Let's get another one on. Cargo. There we go. Another tank car on the back. We'll see how that does. That's mostly due to the fact that we're slow loading on our fuel up here. Actually, saying that, when's the last time we checked our fuel? We should be delivering 500 and uh we're only doing 469 yes it's it's expanded hasn't it yeah we've upgraded is that true up here as well it should be yes yes it is goodness me right then uh at the risk of losing a load of goodies we need to stick another wagon on the back what have we got these orange uh, like a dark orange is that it probably not that one that one possibly uh, we'll stick a couple more on there, see how that does. Hopefully that gets it closer to 500. Uh, we won't take that as the figure. We've lost some fuel, unfortunately. 
but thankfully we have a lot more lines that can uh, cope with any hiccups like that and it's the end product as well it may drop shipping or shipment down here but not enough to worry about we've got to do something with Loughton haven't we our two original freight deliveries uh, we haven't actually dealt with their uh, public transport needs I do feel like a, a nice mountain railway is going to be in order for the journey from Loughton to Mablethorpe and Sutton and yeah and it may be like sort of separate from the rest of the network as far as uh, a service it's just going to go backwards and forwards here and then they branch off and join the uh, the local lines that way one that way and I don't know where you're going to go maybe up straight up to Biggles Wade I don't know maybe we would have to cross over twice I think going down to Mitchell Dean isn't a bad idea we've got to remember that our uh, express is going to be somewhere heading that way isn't it so what do we want to do today now we've checked up on the state of play uh i guess check any of the uh the original setups and make sure they're doing what they're doing and they're doing it well i love this i love that we've got like a little uh steam train still running this a little tank engine right are you doing okay you're doing 205 and what do you require over here uh consumers 180 foot no not consumers suppliers 200 there we go perfectly balanced we don't need to worry about that are we taking everything well we're over the top now aren't we yeah because we stuck new trucks on there let's get rid of one of those not required although saying that of what i should have checked for are we actually reaching everywhere because suppliers 184 but they require 210 we're definitely uh, not reaching everywhere with this one stop aren't we uh, let's get the uh, the stop there there we go right look for bricks guys uh, we've got tools out that way I think it's because yeah there we go that's actually quite nice, isn't it? We could take it here and not have to cross over the road for now, I think. That might do. Where do we go currently? We currently go that way. So if we bypass through here, it looks like there's no stops this side of the road. No, they just head down here, don't they? So if we pop another stop here, I think that'll do is we'll just have a multi-drop going on there and multi-drops work really well in transport fever so there we go and that should give us the reach let's get our line then manage vehicle not manage vehicle don't need that manage line that's the one we want and after henley yeah before queensway we want to pop round here and what i'm hoping is yes it takes that road there and it gets out of the way of the tram. It does cross over in front of the tram. But that's not a problem. And it's just a couple of short stops here. And that's enough to reach, well, everywhere, I would imagine now. And then it just it just does a little loop like it does up here. Um, but uh, has two drop-offs. Isn't that wonderful? Right, you only want to be unloading bricks there. Perfect. There we go, that should sort that out. And it should increase uh, delivery from here. Consumers, 198, 199. There we go, our new orders are slowly filtering through. And uh, that'll be a bit more money for us, wouldn't it? And a bit more delivery as well. So a bit more growth for Henley. Uh, we'll see how this does as well, because we've just extended our express trains. We may need to extend them further. Is that a local train? It is where are our express trains is this one train 10 no, that's another local now ah, there we go you are you are full which isn't too bad you're full that way we may need an extra carriage on there yes because we, we've introduced everyone from lee haven't we okay i'm down with that guys are you a decent sized eight car uh express train that i like right we know what purple it is don't we that one get you on there and we'll do the same with this one we could have 
open them both together, really, couldn't we? It's fine. I'll get you on there as well. Right, we've now got a capacity of 160. I think they'll still be okay at that, though. Um, mediocre, it's saying. Yeah, gets up to 75 miles an hour in 2.2 kilometers, which is pretty good. Pretty good. I don't know how long it takes a, an Intercity 125 HST to go. When I used to travel on them on the East Coast Main Line, they did feel like they used to take quite a while to get up to speed. Not sure about 75 miles an hour, but definitely up to uh, top speed. There we go. Isn't that wonderful? That's looking like a proper uh, intercity train now, isn't it? We might even be able to squeeze another one on there. There we go, guys. 633 million in the bank. How are our planes doing? Oh, talking of planes. It's not until the 80s, I think, that was mentioned in the comments that we can do two runways. But when we do, we can have landing and takeoff runways. Dedicated uh, landing and takeoff runways. Isn't that good news? That means we should be able to get the throughput uh, quite high as uh, they won't be getting in each other's way if we set it up correctly, which I think we should be able to. But here, we be taking off that way wouldn't we and we'll be landing here so that would be brilliant we can change where they land they could land here and then take off this way which might not be a bad idea thinking about it landing here will be better and then they can like sort of circle off that way yes I don't want to mess with it at the moment though 15 goods waiting, actual goods. Uh, we've got 18 on board. It should be 18, shouldn't it? Well, it depends because we might be a bit skew whiff after changing over. There we go. Coming in to unload. How are we doing here? We're sort of doing okay. And we've got plenty of uh, steel over here, but we are keeping up. Now, what does the line rate need to be for this? Let's see. Suppliers. You should be delivering... Uh, 200. Do you know, we're nearly delivering uh, the <laughs> the 200 plastic. That's a little surprising. Have you really increased that much? What's the line rate for this? That can't be true. No, it's only 91 line rate a year. Okay. Suppliers, 177. I think that's how much we should be. Sh yes, there we go. We are only transporting 50%, aren't we? Yeah, so we should be sh shipping 176 because we're not meeting demand with our uh, diesel, which we should extend as well, shouldn't we? We should increase the capacity of that. But yes, we're not taking enough. Although, I will say, 91 is pretty impressive, isn't it, for our aircraft? That's the best we've done. So that's a new personal best for us. We may even be able to fit another aircraft on there. I don't know, though. It's kind of running like clockwork, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Ignore me. But uh, over here, we are doing what we need to do. I believe the line rate is about spot on, isn't it? It must be. Close enough. 193. That does fluctuate. So. Especially with our, our crossing here, they do tend to weight sometimes which can mess with the rates even though technically we're running i believe a little bit above we can always add another one on if need be but we are getting this down aren't we it was completely jam-packed and we we're slowly getting it down i think and we'll have to we'll have to keep an eye on that how are we doing here we're doing all right aren't we consumers yep suppliers 800 800 100 percent on each beautiful We've got to think about uh, the rest of this food delivery, haven't we? We're going to do something with this coffee. And we've got the coffee beans just down there. Or the coffee plants, whatever it's called. What are these called? Coffee berries. So they start off as berries, dried into beans. <laughs> Is that how coffee works? And then uh, sent off down to the food processing place down there. I do like that. I do like that idea. We'll bring that in. We'll have to do the express line though. Um, which way do we want to go now? 
I'm actually not sure which way I want to go. I half want to bring this in. And luckily, this side of town is, uh, is industry, isn't it, by the looks of things? If we take a look. There we go, yes. So I would like our second station to be going across the top and then see if we can't get it connected. Uh, I don't think we can go over the top there. It would be nice, wouldn't it? We don't need this here anymore. We're going to continue this line off that way. I think what we can do, though, is pre-flatten us some ground down here where we're going to be building and see if we can't get a bridge going across there if we give it a bit of room like that. And we'll be heading back up here to meet up uh, with this side of town so it's it's not so uh, detached from the rest of lee here okay so we're going to get the train track continuing this is the local service this is going to mitchell dean as well it's gonna do the same as the express line and uh, we're not having it electrified just yet we are going to have electric passenger trains just not yet now will you go across there Ooh, you, you're whoa <laughs> almost that's a shame if we avoid that it's about spot on isn't it yeah i guess we could have it like that couldn't we i don't mind it like that it kind of works uh, it's a shame these are slower there are mods um, to sort that out but uh it would be kind of nice to have this but it does slow down an awful lot well, that kind of works as well though it doesn't look as nice though does it doesn't look as nice as those they look brilliant like that especially just uh, going past there yes do we want that i kind of do right we'll get you in there we'll go with the slower one it doesn't matter we'll work around it guys we'll make it work we need this to go flat down here I mean, we could have gained a bit more height, perhaps, and gone over the top. Although I kind of prefer it at the back of this, uh, as opposed to going straight across. People should walk from here to here. Uh, it's not ideal, but they will, they will make the journey across. Right, if we go in there, we want this to be the same sort of size station, don't we? And so... I don't know what size this is. Let's let's check. We can go over here. That's right. There we go. Uh, two tracks. Uh, no catenary. I'll just get you slotted in. Wrong way. Get you slotted in like that. If we bring the... I pointed to the screen. Not very useful. If we bring that station building closer to that one. And then we bring this road up and around. I think we'll have the connection we want. And then we can think about heading to uh, Bedford can't we and as well as Romsey finally from here I'm just hoping this aligns correctly let's get a nice uh, nice station building on there and we'll get uh, some decorative buildings along the side here some smaller ones there we go something like that beautiful that should do shouldn't it does that look the business I think so what are we missing uh, nothing, because you've put them in already for us. Okay, so we have the connection going across there. What we need to do is get us the streets in and make sure this looks the business. Do we want a main road? No. Do we want a bus stop? Ah, that's an interesting one. I think we do go with a bus stop as opposed to a, a tram. And then we have the bus kind of go between the two as part of its longer route and then we kind of intersect here we could have another tram though looking at it right we could do a, a crossover here and head up that way oh do you know i sort of like that idea right buildings we need uh, the longest you've got please and we will go double we do want some buses somewhere i want to find a place for them and we will find a place for them. I'm going to put it over there. I'm going to also prepare the ground for us. Get this nice and flat. Because we're going to have a little bit of a steep 
drop down to the other the other tram stop there. That's why I would like I guess I would like the building the other side. Or or do we have a double building like that? I do like that. It's excessive, yes. I think they're going to get bigger, though. Although, this feels like it should now be like uh, an express or a main connection. I guess it's uh, it's actually going to be quite a big cross-country hub, isn't it? We're right in the middle of everything there. Well, I take it back. These might be big, but they might not be on... No, they will not be on the express lines right so if we go in here we shouldn't lose the connection and yes if we go in there we want to make them double again configure that we're going to have another tram but i'm i'm really tempted to have a bus connecting these two like a little shuttle just see how busy it gets one two three we've actually gained a little bit more there haven't we yeah there we go beautiful i like that nice big uh, stop. Are we going to have the... Uh, <laughs> are we going to have the, the room to get down there? It's a little bit on the steep side, isn't it? I guess we could move this, technically, out the way and put it back in. We've got room down here. Get that nice and flat where we're going to put that. And that way we can uh, draw us a nice connection from here. And get it all smoothed. Although, we do need a... A connection a flat connection don't we where the road goes off yeah that's a little unfortunate well let's just see first before we do anything can we get up there I prefer you curvy can we get up here and is it too bad oh it's not too bad well, that's actually kind of pleasant oh it really is pleasant isn't it ah okay what about if we have a, uh, a flat section first? Can we still achieve that? We can. It's not really as pleasant. Okay, we might have to scrap the, uh, the thingy idea then. But I do like that curve. So I don't really want to bring it any closer. Yeah, let's go with that. That is nice. If we try and come off here... Ooh. You're kidding me. Really? We can just... If we do it with the, the double road, we can. Can we? Can we? Can you do that? It still looks lovely. And can we put this building back in? I feel like I'm pushing it a little bit. We slot in there? No. Oh, oh that's a real shame. Uh, maybe. No, look at the state of the, the road there. I thought it would be a little bit... Hang on. I thought it'd be asking too much, but we might be able to get in there. I mean, it doesn't look pleasant like that, but uh, if we smooth that a little bit, there we go, or a lot of it, and then we uh, smooth that section as well. Hey, that doesn't look too bad. Yes, and it's a little bit of scenery. I like it. Got some bushes there. Could put some more bushes down the side here, couldn't we? Get that right down. There we go. Uh, 100%. Yeah, we want that one. Just get some painted along the side here. Oh, I missed the original uh, transport fever brush for doing this. There we go. We can uh, we can skip collision, which is great and all, <laughs> except uh, you have to tidy it up on the pavement afterwards. But you can just plonk them down there like that there we go and then you can uh, you can get the deletey bit and tidy it up afterwards which is uh, okay I don't mind those there and obviously there's the uh, singular placement of uh, bushes so you can squeeze in where you want do I like that I kind of do yeah I like these bushes with the little flowers on them what are they elderberry that's nice isn't it very pleasant so uh, we've got our cross connection here this is going to be our cross country service uh, the question is where do we go after this well it looks like 
we should continue up to there. I know we're going to get rid of a few buildings, but we're not delivering anything freight-wise down here. Now, do we want that to be a bus? I don't think we do, do we? We want this to be a uh, tram service. This way could be a bus. We could have a little bus that runs kind of that way if we so desire. Um, can we get another one down there? Wouldn't mind it. I know, we're wrecking uh, Lee a little bit. It might be worth it, though. We're going to see how all this looks once we've uh, put everything in and built it all up. So we need to figure out what we're doing here, don't we? We need to uh, get this done uh, so they don't uh, do any uh, strange buildings across here that we don't want. Right, so if we go flat on here, that's beautiful. I would like to keep it flat. That should be heading not far off the direction we need to go. Bradford's up there. So this would be going around here. Uh, I would like to keep it flat. Yeah, 75. There we go. That, that should do it, shouldn't it? Then with this piece of road, we can upgrade it for a start. And we should be able to just draw across here. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah, there we go. Keep that going across there. Do we need it? Do we need it flat? Just, just sit nicely. There we go. And we'll delete that back. Have I got it paused? I hope so. And we'll curve, please. And we'll go around here. There we go. And uh, then we'll change that to, I guess, a country road of some sort. Something like that should do. Uh, hold shift. Just want that bit. There we go. Send you through there. You're going to continue off that way. Well, there's nothing up here at the moment. It just goes into a couple of factories. But we'll put it in. And we'll do a little bit of a official episode. Yeah. Why not? Nice and big as well. Might as well get it feathered at the edges. Uh, we've, we've done all our work. This should hopefully stay as industry over this end. That's what I'm hoping. There we go, lots of official episode today. I do like our little crossing over here. How it will work, I've got no idea. I'm going to redraw this and take the curve off, I think. And hopefully it keeps its uh, wide span there over the tracks, which it's looking like it will. And we need to be heading over... Where's Mitchell D? That way. We're pretty much heading in the right direction, aren't we? We've got it in. What are we doing with this? I do want to go up here, don't we? Just straight through. Double up on this street as well. Get this. And no, not that one. Nearly did it again, guys. We go down here. There we go. And we just head off that way. Now, we could do a couple of things here, couldn't we? We could... We could have a, a very bizarre figure of eight thing going on. Because it could just continue round. Loop back round and continue off that way. We could just extend this. And it would just be one ginormous wiggly figure of eight line. Uh, do I like that? Not overly keen on it. Although I might do it for science. Yeah, do you know what? We'll do it for science. A single line would definitely work. What would I do? What would I do if I wasn't recording and just playing this myself? I would probably do something really excessive. Like a really wiggly line. I like the idea of a separate line though and being a little more sensible with it. As it's easier to balance then, isn't it? Uh, this side of town might not be as busy as that side of town. We've got kind of an elongated loop here. I want to have the option to bring buses into the equation at some point. We'll just send those out like that. There we go. And we'll get that nice and smooth for when they rebuild, which they will. Tools. Let's tramify this up. Right. Get you on there. You on there. Couple there. Which uh, cross over with that one as well. So they can change. And a couple there. Then we'll need 
one on that way, one on that way, that's the way around, right? Yes. And one up there, one on that corner, and then I guess one down. And where's the other one? Yeah, one down here. There we go. And we're going to extend this line. And we're just going to make this ginormous. Let's get the Lee Metro to manage. So if Lee Holt is the first and would that be the first and last stop? Do we continue up here and we just go this way and follow this around. Now, if you thought uh, my non-loop Aylsham tram was uh, painful to watch, you're welcome. Because this is a lot worse. There we go. Does that work? Is that how that goes? It kind of technically goes that way now. I think that will work. Wouldn't it? Look at it. It's fine. We're going to... Things are happening there. We're going to have to have a lot more trams on here, aren't we? And since we can afford it, I'm just going to... Uh, I'm doing it. There we go. Mass climb. That is the mess of Lee. Let's see what they do, though. I'm intrigued to see how they uh, they use this, whatever this is. Will anybody get on board that? I mean, these it shouldn't have technically changed. I like this. <laughs> I do like that. It's scary, but I like it. But let's sort some of these uh, side roads out that don't need lights. Uh, because that is a little excessive. And then, I guess... What do we want to get on today? I'm going to say uh, it's got to be a train today, hasn't it? We were on a plane last time. Don't need any of these. And uh, we've not got any new train services. We have extended our express. Have we ridden the express back? I can't remember. Don't want you as lights. Don't want you as lights. Don't want you as lights. Uh, we done. Don't want you as lights either, sneaky. That, yeah, I'm going to leave as lights. We've got a bit of a convoy going on there. Lovely. I think that'll do us. This, yeah, that should be lights. No lights, no lights. Oh, we're good, we're good. Uh, no lights. Yeah, that works. And no lights there. No lights there. And none there. None there. Yeah, we'll have some there. It works. Lovely. I think that's tidier. Goodness me, Lee is getting big. <laughs> we could take a trip on the tram. Do you know what? We haven't took a trip on a tram, have we? Uh, we could take one that's heading back to the station. I love that idea. All right, guys, we're on board. Our uh, our only Lee Metro. There's not two. It's just this one. I've lowered the camera a bit. I always feel like when uh, you see trams, uh, the driver sits quite low to the ground. And I like the idea of that. So uh, we've we've gone that way as well. And we're, we're driving through Lee. There we go. There's, <laughs> there goes our other trams heading the other way. By the time we've... Uh, I think we built our train local service up to Bradford, is it? Bradford-on-Avon and then connect in to where our express is currently running so that we can go direct to sandhurst good memory if i've got that right and then we'll see uh, how that our ai use that route because i believe that gives them another connection to henley doesn't it via the commuter services uh, via sandhurst so that should be fun and then we'll think about going to romsey then what we got to do? We're not doing all that in an episode, are we? No. We've also got to hook up that food thing, which I'm really looking forward to doing. Anyway, guys, I'll leave you with a little trip to our station setup, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, take care.